Good morning, students. Hope all is going well. Uh, hope you're having a good day in school. You're learning a lot and having fun doing it. I got a book for you today. Uh, the author and illustrator for this book have also illustrated and authored two other books that I hope I might get a chance to read to you during this year. Uh, and uh, they are unusual books because they, they, uh, the subject of the stories are, are things that we deal with every day, whether we are uh, children or whether we are adults. These are real parts of living. And, and uh, I think it's good to face up to some of those things uh, as we read to you and tell you stories. So that's, this is one of those, those books. And this uh, book is called, What Do You Do With a Problem? What do you do with a problem? Written by um, Kobe Yamada and illustrated by Mae Beesom. What do you do with a problem? I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it, I didn't ask for it, I really didn't like having a problem, but it was there. Now, as is often the case, when we have a problem, a concern, we, we say, it's, I, I got a black cloud over me today. And maybe some chose that, a cloud, to illustrate the problem. Everywhere the boy is going to go, that black cloud will follow him because he has a problem. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem? I thought. I wanted to make it go away. I shoot it. I scowled at it, I tried ignoring it, but nothing worked. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? You notice it's getting bigger, bigger and I think darker too. What if my problem sneaks up and gets me? What if it takes away all of my things? I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and worried about that. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. I wished it would just disappear. I tried everything I could to hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself, but it still found me. And the more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time, I, I didn't feel good at all. It really seems to be overwhelming, this whole little world. I couldn't take it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up or attacked me. I 
I realized that I had to face it. So even though I didn't want to, even though I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. You notice as soon as he decided to tackle his problem, things start looking a little bit happier, don't they? The color has changed. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't what I thought it was. I discovered it had something beautiful inside. My problem held an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow, to be brave, to do something. It showed me that it was important to look closely because some opportunities only come once. So now I see problems differently. I'm not afraid of them anymore because I know their secret. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it. The end. So, that should open up a chance for you guys to talk about problems. You know, I remember from childhood, one of the problems that I, I can remember clearly having, having was I lied to my mommy. I told her that I had not gone somewhere I wasn't supposed to go. I think she knew that I told her a story, but she didn't say one word. She just took my word for it. But you know what? The more that went on, the, the bigger that problem got for me. The fact that I had lied to my mom was just about all I could stand. And finally, finally, how did I tackle the problem? I told my mom I was sorry I didn't mean to do it, but I was afraid of what she would do to me. As it turned out, my mom did give me a spanking. Back then, we got spankings regularly. Uh, but I learned my lesson. Lying to your mom or to anyone is not the, uh, the solution. You don't get out of it that way. You just keep worrying about it. And pretty soon it takes up all of your time just worrying about that lie. And there are many, many, many other things that can happen too. And I bet you all have had ex experiences like that. So that, that may be something that would be interesting for you to talk about. All righty. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.